What's up guys? Um, I felt like making a video because I got onto my YouTube today and I saw that one of my close friends, a uh, good friend I've had since about freshman year in high school. Uh, to some people that might not sound like a lot because people might not know how old I am. I'm actually senior in high school now. Um, been really good friends with him for the past four years. Real good friends. I, I see him every week at least three or at least three times a week because we go to the gym together. Same gym, comes picks me up because I'm along the way, and we go work out. Anyway, he posted a video today, uh, not going to promote it because I don't know if he wants me promoting his video because he, he has more subscribers. Um, you know, I don't want to ruin his, his, his uh, viewer base. Yeah, viewer base. Anyway, um... He's a cool guy, and his video was about uh, just team bodybuilding motivation and uh, real world problems. Real world problems. I'm sorry if my talking is a little weird today. I have a really swollen lip. Uh, I don't know why it's swollen, and I don't know if you can notice this. This lip's like ridiculously huge compared to this side. I don't know. It happened last night after I had Chinese food. Now I'm gonna get bitched after eating Chinese food, but hey, the family was over. Fuck you. I'm gonna enjoy myself. Consider my cheat meal. I don't believe in cheat meals to begin with, but whatever. Anyway, so I wanted to touch base on that a bit. Uh, the way to keep motivated, um, keep yourself going, things that drive you. Um, in his video, he states how like he all he started working out back freshman year, and it progressed, progressed, it progressed for the past four years. And I'm the same way. Three years, three years, three years. I'm the same way. I started back and um, technically actually I started working out back in eighth grade, and I I did, I did nothing but bicep, I did nothing but I just sat there on my bed and just did concentration curls that because you know I can't just sit here and do that as concentration curls not concentration curls I only have a 15 pound dumbbell I still use that 15 pound dumbbell not to lift but as a door weight because I don't use 15 pound dumbbells unless I'm doing like frontward rows with my shoulder because I have really bad shoulder just popped um motivation I don't believe you really need motivation if you I wouldn't call it motivation I'd call it your own self-indulgence. Once you start working out, it becomes always relatively like a drug to you. You want to do it. Like you start doing it, you get results. It's addicting. It's, there are so many things in this world that are addicting, but they, they have no correlation to the chemicals in your brain that cause you to think it's addicting. There's no actual like euphoric chemical whatever. The point is it's addicting. And I never really needed much motivation. I mean the only motivation I usually look at is I used to just go on YouTube and like watch videos of Ronnie Coleman because that dude's fucking crazy. I don't remember how much it was, but the dude was like 200 pound dumbbells and things were like 200, 300, like that big or like fucking huge. And he was like chest pressing them. It was like crazy. It was like, I, I want to be big, but not that big. But it was, it's it got me motivated in a sense. It kept me going. It, kept, it pushed me to strive for better, better things, much better things. And you, you should self, self, um, motivate you don't need to watch videos self-motivation can come from anything just the wanting to better yourself in general whether it's you want to lose weight because you're obese or mildly overweight or you want to gain muscle because you're like me you're a guy and you know elementary school middle school no one really looked up to you no one was really like oh that guy is cool, he's cool. I was always that, that kid that always stuck to the side and got picked on every now and again. I just took it, you know? Because I was, I was, I'm 
young, I was small, I was stupid, and back where I went to school there was, and forgive me if this offends any of you wigger ass bitches. Nothing but white dudes sagging their jeans down there. Sorry for showing skin. I am wearing underwear, so get over yourself and like you guys don't like it. But what I'm saying is like you don't you you self motivate. Self motivation is the strongest form of motivation, I think. If you have the motivation to want to better yourself, you're gonna strive that much more to better yourself as a whole, as a person, physically, mentally, any any way. And and when it comes to bodybuilding, lifting, in general, uh, you 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 strive for that self motivation. You strive for that extra rep. You strive for that extra ten pounds. That you're able to push that next week, next month, whatever. Like my motivation. My motivation is when I look in the mirror, I don't want to see some scrawny bitch boy, which I am right now still. Back sophomore year, I, I swear, I swear some of the supplements I was taking probably had some form of hormones or uh, test booster. They're probably more hormone based than test boosters because I'm 18, I was 17, 16, 17. So my hormones were pretty much already maxed by then, my natural hormones. The fact is, there's a lot of factors in bodybuilding. It's, 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 you'll hear this from everyone, abs start in the kitchen. You need to eat right, you need to just buckle down on things. Today was one of my fast days. I fasted today, I was supposed to work out today, but I, I guess you could sort of say I did work out today. Um, anyway, I didn't eat for... A long time. Um, when did I eat? I think I ate at 2 o'clock. Uh, didn't eat breakfast. So I ate 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, about 18 hours. 18 hours. And the meal I had, I cooked a half cup of brown rice. Brown rice. I love brown rice. I can't stress you how much. I love brown rice, how much, how good it is for you too, both fiber and just uh, how clean it is compared to like your regular white rice, which has been bleached, filtrated, uh, whatever, it's awful for you. It's awful for you, it contains little micro chemicals that don't exactly get out during the cleaning process after the bleaching. And it's, it's processed, it's just horrible for you, I don't need to stress that, I'm sure you guys know that. Um, anyway, I had that. I scrambled up two eggs because I fucking love eggs with a little bit of olive oil in the pan. So I get my little, my little bit of fat I need. And then I dropped in a can of tuna in a frying pan. I seasoned it, cooked it, put that all on top of the brown rice, salt, pepper, very little salt. You don't want too much salt. I ate that. It was delicious. And that's my motivation. One of my biggest motivations is, is, is the eating and the working out. Like, those two things. Those two things. I love eating. Eating. I love eating. I love cooking. I sound fat as a motherfucker right now. But if you're into eating healthy, and you like eating healthy, and you find cooking interesting, then you know what I'm saying. It's, that's also a good motivation. If you can sit there and eat a, make yourself a healthy meal, eat it, you feel all that much more better. You know, it starts in the kitchen, and then you progressively bring it into the gym. Or at your house, wherever you lift, wherever you do whatever you do. Maybe you're just one of those people who thinks cardiovascular is the way. I'm not trying to go for a muscular physique. I'm just looking to slim down a bit. And that's okay. A big social issue in these days is obesity. And, you know, as much as I like to think I am a tolerant, well-rounded uh, youth. Oh, fuck you. I don't know. I, let's be serious, guys. Like... How could you how can you sit there look in the mirror and let yourself become that way? I've never fully understood that 
And you know, maybe.